what is vine charcoal? Vine charcoal is basically the ends of wood after it's burned down. So it is, the, this vine charcoal is more looser than when we do a compressed charcoal. A compressed charcoal really works as a pastel. And the difference being And the vine charcoal is going to be lighter. I mean, you can get in there and do that, but it's, it's just got a different feel. And the other thing about the vine charcoal is I find that it's, if you're not really liking what you're doing, you can kind of come in and erase where this is going to be. There's so much you can communicate with just black and white. So that's why I was like, let's see how far we can go with just our mark making and creating a ground. And what I mean by a ground is anything that is in the background, we call it figure ground in painting. This is our ground, and then I might start doing a main event. We don't have to really worry about it at first, but as you're working, you might find I don't like what I'm doing at all. Water fixates charcoal and pastel. And because we're in the Southwest, things dry really quickly here. So if I was to move things around or even, I can paint with the charcoal. So. I don't have water right here, but I'll cheat. Moving it around. What I will introduce once you guys get started is I'm going to put a blob of white paint on your table. So you can work with acrylic white paint and these dry mediums for as long as possible. And so something that can happen when we do that is let's say you're not liking anything that you're doing. You can just make it go away. I'm a big fan of the Huggies. Everyone notices they have Huggies on their table. And I'm also a fan of reductive as much as additive. So. And what is that I'm kind of cheating and because I didn't get my materials together. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get some water and white paint without people really noticing. <laughs> yeah. So we can work like this for a while. I also have uh, scrapers, and one of my favorite ones. This is my new favorite one. It's silicone. Is it does. Yeah, 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 these little silicone things. And so all the materials that we're beginning are beginning. See these diagonals? That's got the most movement. Horizontals are like looking at a landscape. It's, it's calming. Verticals are like standing at attention. So just with that in mind, whatever it is you're trying to portray emotionally, you know you can set it up. And we can also start turning the paper and then I push pin them in. So we're just, we're mucking about till something maybe starts to develop. And then I might say, okay, it's time to introduce some color. 